Hello folks, welcome to another fly tying session. In my neighborhood, you can see spring easing on into summer. What that means to trout anglers hereabouts is uh, we can expect to soon see the appearance of the sulfur mayflies. There are a couple of different insects uh, that are commonly referred to as, as sulfurs hereabouts, one of them being scientifically uh, ephemerella excrucians. And that's more of an afternoon uh, insect. The other is Ephemerella needami. Yeah, that we'll see primarily in the evenings. What we have here in the vise is the fly that we're eventually going to tie. And this is my iteration of what a female evening sulfur might look like. Uh, but first, let's review some of the other possibilities. Is this uh, insect begins to appear, of course, you can fish a nymph, but uh, here's a... Uh, and a, suggested a merger pattern, a clink hammer uh, with the abdomen hanging low in the in the in the sulfur uh, colored sulfur yellow uh, thorax visible to, to the insect. Here's another one that may become a uh, a topic of another video. This is uh, something that I've tossed together and I've had really fair luck with it. It's a it's a uh, in a merger pattern using a soft tackle and a, a CDC wing. Here's a classic comparadon with that that uh, that greenish yellow body and and uh, and, a, and an upright wing and the and the shuck tail. Another approach. Here's another possibility. This is uh, tied with with biots. Uh, biot body. It's a hair of hair wing done. Uh, you'll notice that the color variation. There are the color variations here. That's deliberate. Uh, I have. A, I had a friend, uh, the late Brian McKinley, who once told me that he had a box of of dubbing materials uh, for uh, mark for tying sulfurs, and in that box there were eight different colors of dubbing. It. it uh, there's probably something to do with with. Uh, water chemistry involved here or uh, perhaps three or four species you just never quite know uh, here is a another hair hair wing done uh, tied with more of that that traditional greenish yellow body uh, the but back to business here so what we are going to be tying is an iteration of this fly this is an OJ, which I think uh, is a way of getting around copyright uh, problems. Uh, it, the OJ stands for, the, the let's keep this secret to ourselves, Orange Julius. Uh, I've heard a couple of different uh, stories about its origins. Uh, there are people who call it Anderson's OJ, and there are other people who say that a fellow named Butch Goplin developed this fly. Uh, they're both fine men. I uh, don't choose to, to uh, pass judgment on them when I've really done this, but but somebody created quite the effective fly. But we can get going now with a fresh uh, hook of the vise. This hook is a Daiichi 1100 in size 16, pretty much a standard dry fly hook. Uh, we'll debarb that thing. It's kind of a classic size for this. Mount the hook. Our thread in this case is uh, eight aught olive, uh, a, a true olive. We're doing this uh, to uh, to further darken our dubbing a little bit. We're going to start the thread uh, to, to create kind of an index point as to where we want to stop winding our, our eventual dub body materials. Uh, we'll snip our thread short, and then we'll spin our thread, and we'll make a, uh, two or three or four good turns. We want to create a slight bump there. We're going to try to splay out our hackle fiber, our tailing fibers a little bit. For tailing fibers, we're going to use... Uh, Coke de Leon fibers, and they're probably not completely accurate color-wise, but I like the fact that there's some variation in the color there. They're not just, uh, it was, uh, I think, John Atherton, uh, the angling author, who had said that nothing in nature is just one color, and that's certainly true uh, for the tails of these insects. We'll make them roughly body length, perhaps, or shank length, perhaps just slightly longer. We'll give a pinch wrap here, get a gentle there, and then if we, if we, when we when we cinch the t thread tight against that bump, we'll, we'll, we'll splay our hackle fibers out a little, just a little bit. You could uh, put in the effort to, to create split tails, but I don't know if, if there's any real advantage to that. We'll trim them short, take another wrap or two, come back, 
and begin our body. Our dubbing uh, is, this is sort of an apple green dubbing. Uh, my friend Michael, uh, who has studied these insects extensively, says that this is the female uh, of the of the evening sulfur, the the, the ephemerella nidami, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm willing to accept that. Uh, the and it's more green body. The males, he says, uh, are essentially a, a kind of a drab brown body, uh, and I don't know if uh, they actually hatch in numbers equal to to uh, the females, and we just don't see that, or if they if they. Uh, Catch at an odd time of the day, then, and that we don't see them because of that. But it, it seems that it's the the green that catches at least the angler's eye, and you know, we like to think uh, the trout think like us, so they'll uh, it'll catch the trout's eye as well. So we're just going to double simple a simple body here. Probably have just a tad more dubbing than they really need. We'll take a couple of couple of. See if we can't get rid of a little of that dubbing. Tighten that up. We'll trim that away. Then the secret to that that sulfury look, which all the species share, is uh, using hackles that have a uh, some sort of a, a hint of yellowish or orange to them. This is medium ginger and again i what i've done i've you can see that i have i have uh, trimmed the some hackle fibers short on either side that helps provide some tooth to get this locked in we've got that then the other top secret element here is uh is this material this is dyed orange ostrich hurl yeah that it, all the both species tend to have a, a, a an element in their thorax that's that's definitely orangish, uh, perhaps more muted in some cases than in others, but it's it always seems to be there to, in, to some degree. Uh, so we'll we'll proceed to to take several wraps of that. our thread over it to lock that down. Trim that short. Wind our our hackle through that. And that'll give us just our, our that hint of orange underbody. We'll tidy up the head of that fly a little bit once we're we're done. We'll take a couple of wraps to secure the hackle, trim that away, find our whip finish tool, one thing about tying with, with under magnification with camera is that you see every uh, every tiny uh, miscue, but this is a, a serviceable fly, make sure the, uh, the eye is clear there, and uh, there we have it, another one of these simple uh, simple ties that takes few materials and has proven to be very effective on the water. I'd urge you to give some of it a try, although I might urge you to do a better job of, uh, of creating a nice tidy head than I did here. Uh, I hope you uh, have some good fishing this spring. Take care.